We begin with that breaking news where in the last several hours, Henry County Sheriff Reginald Scandrett confirmed that the man wanted for killing four people in Hampton Saturday, Andre Longmore, was shot and killed. Three members of law enforcement, including a Henry County deputy and a Clinton County officer, were also shot. Two of them are in the hospital tonight. Well, we have a live look from News Chopper 2 over where all this happened near Mount Zion High School in Jonesboro. That's about 12 miles away from the Dogwood Lake subdivision where that shooting happened yesterday. We also have live Team 2 coverage at that scene and at Grady Memorial Hospital where those injured law enforcement officers are being treated. We start with Channel 2's Larry Sproul in Clayton County. And Larry, you spoke with those who saw that confrontation that ended this manhunt. And Candace, yes, we are right here at that scene where both witnesses and police say all of this ended. Now, we are about 12 miles or so away from the shooting yesterday, just right down the street near Mount Zion High School. You can see a very large police presence, police tape, and several agencies are out here as well. But uh, just a few minutes ago, we got the names of those victims that were the police chief released during a press conference. We're talking about 67-year-old Scott Levitt, 66-year-old Shirley Levitt. 65 year old Steve Blizzard and 66 year old Ronald Jeffers. Now, police responded to this area a little before four after getting reports that Andre Longmore was walking around in this area. Witnesses told me there was a shootout between Longmore and police. The Henry County deputies confirmed that suspect is dead tonight. And I talked to one witness who said the suspect barged into his home and started shooting at police. It's an interview you will only see here on Channel 2 Action News. Take a listen. There was a gentleman, a naked gentleman, in the backyard with a gun crouched down by the grill. Uh, he was begging me to open up the door to let him in. The cops came through the front door, opened up the back door. He started immediately shooting inside of the house. He shot an officer. After he shot the officer, the cops shot him like eight times. Such a scary situation for that witness. I also asked that witness how he was feeling. What was he thinking during all of this while it was happening? Also hear more from him and other witnesses coming up tonight at 11. We are live in Jonesboro. Larry Sproul, Channel 2 Action News. All right, Larry, thank you so much. And Channel 2 investigative reporter Mark Winnie continues our live Team 2 coverage from Grady Memorial Hospital. And Mark, that's where the injured deputy and officer were taken. And at about 5.45 p.m., uh, Henry County Sheriff Reginald Scandrett told me a Henry County deputy shot in the back during an encounter with suspected killer of four, Andre Longmore, this afternoon, was being prepared for surgery and was alert and conscious. The sheriff says he asked for prayers. Hampton City Manager Alex Kohelis uh, says he's been told a Henry County Sheriff's deputy and two Clayton County Police officers uh, were shot and wounded in the encounter with suspect uh, Andre Longmore, uh, the Henry County deputy we've given you details on. Uh, Manager Kohelis uh, indicated uh, one Clayton County police officer uh, took a shot to the chest, but that it did not penetrate uh, the vest, according to what uh, Kohelis has been told. Uh, but that officer was taken to Grady as a precaution. Uh, he indicated he'd been told the other Clayton County officer uh, was grazed and suspect Andre Longmore was deceased uh, at the uh, in encounter with police uh, today near Mount Zion High School. Reporting live outside Grady Hospital, Mark Winnie, Channel 2 Action News. All right, Mark Winnie with that exclusive information that three officers injured in this shootout. Mark, thank you. Again, police say that Andre Longmore is dead after a confrontation with police, a deputy and an officer in the hospital. We know a third officer also shot but is expected to be okay after he was grazed. Stay with Channel 2 Action News for continuing coverage here and on WSBTV.com.